SQL subqueries, what they are, when we could use them, how we could use them, these are the questions which we will answer today in our video. Part of our video will be task that we will try to reach together. I created for you, especially for you, one platform where you could uh, log in, you could register and could try to reach correct result for the task alone first and when you are ready you could continue with our video and to see how we will reach the right result together. If you like this video, if you want to be part of our community, don't wait, click on the subscriber button and not forget to click on bell button too. Smash it, please. <laughs> Let's start with the actual part. What is the subquery? Subquery is query in query. First we execute the subquery and then we work with the result of this subquery in our original query to say. How we define the subqueries? We define them with a brackets as you could see here in picture. Here in a brackets we put content of our subquery. This subquery in our particular case in scenario will return all office code all, all office codes that are regarding and are located in USA we want to have in our report last name and first name for all employees that working in our offices in USA here the subquery first return result for example 1, 2, 3, 4 and after that our original query will work with this result and in close will work for proper way with this with these numbers because that it's the result from the subquery to get better understanding I will show you the second picture in this picture you could see per step what exactly happened again we have the subquery the subquery it's a part of our where clause here and when this subquery is executed return these two values which two values actually are here two and three and when we go on the second step to execute the our output uh, query our outer query then outer query will work directly with these two values it's not care what writing here it's care what is the result like a values from this subquery and then we could reach our our report result that it's actual this uh, full name and phone for all employees that have date of birth and working in these two departments actually which are the key moments and what it's important to know when we work with the subqueries first of them it's that uh, doesn't matter that in our demo in our video we will be focused in subquery in front clause. The subqueries could live in, uh, in in front clause, not only in the where clause. Sorry, as we already saw in our examples, and they could live in select clause too. It's good to know. If you want to know more about that, please leave a comment and could uh, invest a time for the new video about that. But it's that, but that it's up to you guys. That is the one of the key moments. The second key moment is what we will use here 
when we try to compare our column with the result from our subquery. Here our operator could be bigger, smaller, different than the values here, than the value here actually because the subquery could return one or multiple values. Regarding what the subquery will return, we could choose which is the best operator and what exactly we try to reach with our query. Last really important thing that it's good to know when we talk about the subqueries is that everything that we write with the subquery we could write with join to. Which is better that it's something different, that it's deep material and could comment in another video but for now it's good to know only that everything that we could write with the subquery we could write with join to. Let's go and start with our example to summarize what we learned and to try to use it in practice example before to explain you a little more about our task and to um, and to reach the result for it let's I first show you our platform one platform that we could use that's it especially the compiler part it's a place that we will run our SQL scripts SQL queries sorry and could check do we reach the same result as in the video or what exactly we reach what we uh, try to get like information and after that to see from the video what is our our result uh, first here you should sign up with your valid email the name that you want this one platform to uh, to use for your name your personal password and here it's important part that here should write YouTube like a course with small letters when you do that you will have the validation email that you need to confirm uh, for your registration to be successfully done uh, for the last steps and when you validate your registration and your email you could log in and you could try to reach the result to try to resolve your task now is the moment to go back on our example on our task on our demo what we need to do, we want to print all the employees that get the same salary as Maria Petrova. We want to use the sub select for that. Now it's the moment to pause the video to try to, to reach the result and then to do it together. Okay, now let's do it together. What could be the one of the ways to reach that? What is the salary for Maria Petrova? Let's see that. Where? Where? Name equal to Maria Petrova. Salary is equal to one thousand we could just write salary equal to one thousand and that's it but not <laughs> why this it's not the perfect query and why we want to use here the sub select to reach the result what will happen if tomorrow Maria Petrova change it uh, it his salary and she start to get for some reason less or higher or high salary than 1000 if for example start to get 1200 euro what will happen 
you need to go and change here the value which is not nice which is not dynamic and good query that we're working all the time for that reason we will use the subquery and we want to reach that result dynamically and when we run the query first to figure out what is the salary about the Maria Pedrova and when we know every single moment when we run the query what is the actual salary for Maria Petrova then to execute um, our outbound uh, query how we will figure out what is the salary for Maria Petrova name equal to Maria Petrova we want to see only the salary because that it's important for us and we will make a comparison only with the salary and what was the tricky and part of the syntax that we have to follow we should put it in the brackets how we could check is everything good with the subquery we just we could mark and run only this part and then to run the whole query and to see that resulted what we wish we could copy and paste to check here to what is the result from this report it's the same i hope you enjoyed of that video if you like it press on the like button and we'll see you in the next video thank you for the watching